Hey everyone, this is a bit of an unusual video because it has nothing to do with programming or statistics or data analysis or MATLAB or Python or anything like that. We're just going to have fun. We're going to do some arts and crafts and we are going to explore something called a Mobius strip. And what happens when you try to uh, cut a Mobius strip in various points? It's going to be really fun. Um, I thought this would just be a nice thing to do as we are coming close to what I hope will be the end of the pandemic and work from home uh, madness. So here's what you need. You need some paper, you know, just sort of regular paper. In fact, you don't even need all the paper. What you need is two strips of paper. So I took uh, some paper is like A4 paper, eight and a half by 11 inches, and you wanna cut two strips and they should both be the same size. So, you know, you cut them long ways. You can see here I have my two strips like this. And then you need some scotch tape. You need a pair of scissors. Optionally, you need a marker. I have a Sharpie. You can use a pen or a pencil. It's also fine. And since I'm recording this in my kitchen, which is behind you, uh, you can you know, have some food to treat yourself afterwards. Okay, so we are going to start by making a Mobius strip. So how do you make a Mobius strip? Well, you make a Mobius strip by taking a physical strip of paper and you just, you know, Put the two ends together. Now this is uh, just a loop. This is not a Mobius strip yet. So to make a Mobius strip, you grab both ends like this. Then you want to twist one end without twisting the other. So you don't twist both ends. That doesn't do much. Uh, you don't twist both in other directions. You just twist one while holding the other still. And then you connect them. And now it's still like a loop, but it's, you know, it's, it's sort of uh, like you can never really, you know, get it uh, sorted out. Okay, so then you take some tape, and I've already pre-cut a couple of pieces of tape. Take some tape and just tape these two things together like this. Okay, so now I have this Mobius strip. Why, what, what is special about a Mobius strip? A Mobius strip is special because the outside is also the inside. And to prove this to ourselves, we are going to take the marker, the Sharpie, and what we're going to do is draw a line through the middle. So try to get the line through exactly the middle of this Mobius strip, this piece of paper. You can see I started here. So notice I'm drawing it on the outside. I'm not drawing it on the inside. I'm only drawing it on the outside. But then a remarkable thing happens when you keep drawing, keep drawing, and keep drawing this line across the middle of this strip. A crazy thing happens that eventually you get to, you're no longer on the outside. Now you're drawing on the inside of the strip. I don't know if you can really see that very well on the camera. But I'm going to keep drawing on the rest of this, which is now the inside of the strip. And then another crazy thing happens, <coughs> which is uh, you, you keep going and you get to the outside. I'll probably cut the video here. But. Okay, so uh, so it's pretty neat. So I drew the line. You can draw the line without ever taking the marker off of the uh, paper and you will get, you will draw out both the inside and the outside. Okay, so that's just a Mobius strip. Now what we're going to do is cut our Mobius strip. And this is where things start getting really interesting. So what you want to do is cut the Mobius strip along the middle, along exactly the line that you just drew. Of course, if you didn't draw a line, then, uh, you know, just, just try to guess where the middle is. So to start, you want to like fold it up like this and then make a little slit like that. And then you want to open up that slit. That just gives you, you know, somewhere to, to stick the scissors in. And then cut with your scissors along the line. So down the middle of the Mobius strip. All right. And then the question is, what's going to happen when I finish snipping this? What's going to happen when I finish cutting this Mobius strip through the middle? What kind of a shape? What kind of a topology are we going to get? So it's pretty neat. We get a full uh, loop, except now this is actually no longer a Mobius strip. So it's one object, it's one thing, but it is not a Mobius strip. It is a double, it has a double fold in it. And it, the, the double fold means that the inside uh, surface is not the same thing as the outer surface. And again, to prove that to ourselves, we are going to take this marker do the same thing we just did before we cut. So we're going to draw a line uh, on the outside of the surface um, all the way around in the middle and uh, we see what happens. Okay, so 
So you see that there is the line going all the way on the outside of the paper, but not on the inside. I mean, you can see it because it's bleeding through the, the page, but, uh, but th this, so this is no longer a Mobius strip. Okay, very nice. So that's one thing. Now we are going to do something else. We're really, really similar. So we're going to do almost exactly the same thing, but we're going to cut in a slightly different way and the differences will be wild. So now, take your other strip of paper, again, fold it to make a, a, a loop like this and then to make a Mobius strip you hold one end still and you twist the other end and then tape them together. I have another piece of pre-cut tape here. Tape them together like so and this is exactly the same Mobius strip as before. Well not exactly the same because that other one's over there somewhere. Uh, same idea. Mobius strip. Uh, you don't need to draw on it this time. Again, Again, we're going to cut, but now we're going to cut it differently. Before, we cut it exactly in the middle. And what you want to do for this Mobius strip is cut it close to the edge. In fact, you want to cut it like as close to the edge as possible, not too, too close to the edge, because then you, you, you know, you, there's a risk of just accidentally snipping it off. But so, uh, so I have this like uh, engineering paper with all the boxes and things. So I'm going to cut it with one box. So uh, let's see, you can see I've, uh, I'm cutting like one box and then there's four other boxes. So pretty close to the edge if you're, you know, I failed kindergarten like six times because I'm not very good at arts and crafts. But if you're comfortable with uh, cutting this carefully, you can go even closer to the edge. That's fine. But as long as you are more than uh, halfway through the, the strip, then it'll be fine. So then the question is, what is going to happen when we get this thing finished cutting? Now, when you get about halfway through, a pretty remarkable thing happens because when I started cutting, I was cutting on the right side. So I cut on what was my right edge. But then you can see that the cut halfway through is now on both edges, which is pretty neat. So let's see, now I'm gonna finish cutting here. So now we're actually cutting it uh, on the the outside, but that turned into the inside of this strip. And that's because of this uh, single loop to get the Mobius strip that the inside is the outside. So the inner edge is also the outer edge. Then of course, as you get back to the beginning, you get to this point where, you know, you get back to the original place you cut because we've gone, we started from the outside, we moved to the inside and then we moved to the outside again. And now, what is going to happen here? Is it going to be the same as before? It's not, it's really, really wild. So what we get is in fact two separate loops of paper. These are unconnected. This is not a magic trick. These two things are unconnected to each other, but the bigger piece is looping around the smaller piece. In fact, the bigger piece is a, uh, is a Mobius strip, but it's smaller than the original Mobius strip. So all we've done is like, you know, well, we've like cut off the edge basically of the Mobius strip, but because the inside of the Mobius strip is the same as the outside, by cutting off the edge, the edge actually ends up in here. And this edge that's stuck inside the Mobius strip is not another Mobius strip. This has a double loop because of the, the cutting. Again, so I'm not gonna do that now, but if you like, you can take a pen and draw along the outer edge of the inner loop. And uh, it's pretty interesting what you will discover. So there you go, fun with Mobius strips. Uh, nice thing to, uh, to do to occupy your time for a little bit. Um, and uh, other things to explore. You can try cutting this as close as possible to the edge. You can see what happens when you do the same procedure, but instead of starting off with a Mobius strip, you start off with a double loop uh, and, and see what that happens. Lots of opportunities for exploration, a little bit of you know, geometric topology in the real world. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my other videos.